Hello everyone. In this video we are going to solve another radical equation. As you can see the equation is square root of 2 minus square root of 2 plus x that is equal to x. And uh, before we proceed to the solution I would strongly advise you to give this problem a try on your own and later on you can come back and watch this solution. And if you enjoy my content kindly do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for this video. Let us proceed to the solution. So before I do any operations on this equation, we have to take a look at the domain of x. That's very very important for this problem. Okay, what are the possible values that x can take and what are the possible values that x will not take? Okay, so as you can see in this equation on the left side we have square root of something that is equal to x. So square root of any number is always positive. So from there itself we can get the first condition that x has to be positive. That is x has to be greater than or equal to 0. That's the first condition. And the second condition is any term that is inside the square root has to be positive. If you want the number to be a real number or else it will be a complex number. So we want the term inside the square root that is 2 minus square root of 2 plus x to be positive number that is greater than or equal to 0. Now we can get some condition from here. We can take this minus uh, root of 2 plus x to the other side so that we have 2 greater than or equal to root of 2 plus x and we can change the inequality here. So when you change left and right side you have to change the symbol. You have to reverse the symbol there. So we have square root of 2 plus x less than or equal to 2 now. We'll take the square on both sides so that we get 2 plus x less than or equal to 4 okay from here we get x less than or equal to 4 minus 2 which is 2 so this is the second condition so one is x sh should be greater than or equal to 0 another condition is that x has to be less than or equal to 2 that's one more condition and let us take a look at another condition that is this term inside the square root also has to be positive right that is 2 plus x also has to be greater than or equal to 0 so from here we get x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2 okay this is also one of the conditions that we have to take into consideration okay anyway we have x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is greater than or equal to minus 2 so definitely this one holds okay so now uh, we'll try to solve the problem keep this domain in mind our value of x has to be between 2 and 0 that's very very important okay now let us take a look at the problem so let me uh, copy and paste the problem once again so I have the problem over here so let's solve this problem now let me scroll down yes now the aim is to remove the radical symbol for that we have to take the square on both sides right so let's go on and take the square on both sides so we square the left hand side and the right hand side so that the radical symbol is removed so we have 2 minus square root of 2 plus x equal to x square okay now we want to get rid of this radical symbol as well for that we have to isolate that so let's uh, what we can do we can take this 2 to the other side so that we have minus square root of 2 plus x equal to x square minus 2 now we have to square both sides again so let's square the left hand side and square the right hand side so let's see what we get and uh, here this negative square will be a positive number and square root will be cancelled with the square so we just have 2 plus x here this is equal to this right hand side will be expanded using the identity a minus b whole square that we already know right a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab okay so x square the whole square will be x power 4 plus 2 square will be 4 minus 2ab 2 into x square into 2 will be 4 times x square okay so now i think we'll get an equation with the power of 4 i mean having a degree of 4 so let's try to simplify this equation uh, maybe we can bring this 2 plus x to the right hand side and we'll write the terms in the decreasing order of the degree so first we write x power 4 then we write minus 4 x square then uh, we have plus 4 and we are bringing this 2 plus x to the right side so that we have minus 2 minus x equal to 0 let us simplify this 
and we have x bar 4 minus 4x square I'll write minus x here and we have a plus 2 here this is equal to 0 now we have an equation of degree 4 which is called as a quartic equation and we uh, do have a quartic formula that but that's a very complicated formula we have to use some other technique to solve this equation and fortunately we can easily solve this equation by factorization okay I'll show you how we can do that okay let me scroll this down and here from the first two terms we can take an x square common so that we have x square minus 4 inside the bracket from the second two terms we can take minus 1 out so that we have x minus 2 in the bracket is equal to 0 further we write x square as it is x square minus 4 this can be factorized further using the identity a square minus b square right that is equal to a plus b times a minus b so here x square minus 4 will be factorized as x plus 2 times x minus 2 okay very easy so x square minus 4 is nothing but x plus 2 times x minus 2 and we have minus 1 into x minus 2 that is equal to 0 okay now I would like to you know group these two terms together let me multiply them okay because we want to take x minus 2 common right so let's just multiply them inside the bracket so that we have x square into x as x cube plus x square into 2 as 2x square so we have multiplied these two and we have x minus 2 and then we have negative 1 into x minus 2 as you can see here we can easily take x minus 2 common out right so if you take x minus 2 common what is remaining we have x cube plus 2x square minus 1 remaining this is equal to 0 so now we have factorized this polynomial of fourth degree now we have to equate each factor to 0 because of the zero product rule so if you equate x minus 2 to 0 we get the value of x as 2 and uh, you have to equate the other one as well that is x cube plus 2x square minus 1 equal to 0 we have to solve this equation as well but let us think does this solution work okay we have to think about it so we have to always check with our original equation if the solution works or not especially when you have a radical equation so I have the equation along with me let's just verify okay let's just plug in the value and let's just verify if this works or not okay plug in x is equal to 2 so if you put x as 2 we get 2 minus square root of 2 plus 2 and here we get 2 on the right side okay so and if you simplify we get 2 minus square root of 4 and on the right side we have 2 and here we have 2 minus square root of 4 is 2 equal to 2 and uh, this is nothing but 0 right 2 minus 2 is 0 and 0 is never equal to 2 so which means this solution does not hold good so x equal to 2 is not a possible solution for this equation so if x equal to 2 is not a solution then we have to take a look at this equation now so we might get some solution from this equation this is a cubic equation now let me rewrite that x cube plus 2x square minus 1 equal to 0 that is x cube plus 2x square minus 1 equal to 0 okay how can we solve this so cubic equation maybe we have to use cubic formula but once again it's a complicated formula okay we know quadratic formula and cubic formulas they are there but cubic formula is uh, again a complicated formula uh, again fortunately we can also factorize this and solve okay so what we can do here we write x cube as it is 2x square will be written as x square plus x square minus 1 equal to 0 from the first two terms I would like to take x square as a common factor and so that we have x plus 1 inside the bracket plus x square minus 1 can be factorized further using a square minus b square right so it's like x square minus a 1 square so a square minus b square rule can be applied here which means this is x plus 1 into x minus 1 equal to 0 so as you can see we can take x plus 1 common out from the two terms if x plus 1 comes outside we have the remaining terms that is x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0 we have further factorized this again by using the zero product rule we can equate each of them to 0 so if x plus 1 is equal to 0 we get a solution that is x is equal to negative 1 now think about it 
does x equal to negative 1 work? It does not work. Why? Because in the beginning itself, we had defined the domain, right? That x is greater than or equal to 0. x should be a positive number. Okay, because square root of any number has to be positive. So x equal to minus 1 straight away, we can tell that this does not work. Okay, we need not check. Okay, it will not work because of the domain. So maybe our possible solution is hidden within this term. Okay, that is x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0. And we, this is a quadratic equation which can be easily solved by using the quadratic formula. So quadratic formula is... Uh, I hope all of you know this, right? So this is a formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. So in this question, right, x square, uh, x square's coefficient is 1, so a is equal to 1, b is the coefficient of x which is 1, c is the constant term which is minus 1. So let's just plug in the values in the formula and solve for x. So we get x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square is nothing but 1 square minus 4 times 1 times c is negative 1 and we have to divide this by 2 times 1 now let's simplify this x equal to minus 1 plus or minus in the bracket what we get we get 1 minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4 so 1 plus 4 is 5 so we get 5 in the in the under the square root so we have this divided by 2 so again we get two possible solutions from this that is one solution is minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 another solution is x equal to minus 1 minus root 5 by 2 okay now which of them holds good definitely this will not hold good because this is a value which is less than 0 right so this will be less than 0 so x has to be greater than or equal to 0 that condition should be satisfied so our only solution left after rejecting all those solutions we are left with only this solution does this work okay let me tell you if you uh, put uh, put the value in this calculator uh, you get the approximate value of x as 0 0.618 okay if you simplify this value if you uh, put, plug in the value of root 5 okay does this value work in fact this value works this is the solution that we want but how can i say that because it's a little bit difficult to plug in this in the equation right it's a decimal number so it will be difficult to verify in the equation but we can always take the help of graph i will show you the graph so that you can understand why this is the solution so this is the graph that i have in front of you so this blue color curve is the graph of the left hand side part of the equation and the brown color curve is the graph of the right hand side part that is x and as you can see these two curves intersect at only one point which means there is only one solution okay there is only one solution here and what is that solution as you can see from the graph this solution points us towards somewhere uh, around this value itself right 0 0.618 it's after 0 0.5 so it should be that value Okay, so this value itself is 1 plus, I mean, negative 1 plus root 5 by 2, which is nothing but around 0 0.618. So that has to be the solution. So that is the solution for this equation. So we can finally say that our x, x is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2. This is the solution. So I hope all of you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the logic behind the equation as well for more such interesting equations and questions kindly subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next video